Hello, Mr. Jeff here. I'm going to try today to answer to Pastor Jay's call for Bible stories. I thought today though I'd try and do a Bible story that is uh, for kids. I'm using some of the books that uh, I've stored away from when my children were younger. It's a storybook called The Water That Caught on Fire. It's from 1 Kings chapter 17 and 18, and it's written by Joanne Sheck, illustrated by Bob Fanter. A long time ago, King Ahab was wed to a wife who was wicked. One day the queen said, why do we worship a god we can't see? Just think how exciting a stone god would be. So the king built a temple to please his new bride, and they knelt down to Baal at an altar inside. Elijah, God's prophet, then came to the king Get rid of this temple. Get rid of this thing. He's not the true God, this one you call Baal. Come worship the Lord. He'll show you he's real. For three years, he'll hold back the rain from the sky. The clouds will be empty. The plants will all die. And just as he promised, God stopped all the rain till the fields full of wheat and the fields full of grain the fruits on the trees and the plants on the ground, everything dried up for miles around. But God told Elijah to go to a spring where he could drink water and hide from the king. The birds brought him bread, the birds brought him meat. For three years, Elijah had plenty to eat. The prophet came back then to Ahab once more who still had his bail and prayed as before. Oh, Ahab, Elijah cried out to the king. God kept back the rain. He can do anything. But since you insist your God Baal is so strong, come up to Mount Carmel. I'll show you you're wrong. From all over the kingdom, the people were called. Come up to Mount Carmel next week, they were told. They climbed up the hill. Very early one day, the king and his hundreds of priests led the way. At the top stood Elijah. He called the priests of Baal. We'll see who's fake and we'll see who's real. We'll each build an altar on top of this hill. Can your bale burn it? I know my God will. Baal's 450 priests brought stacks of wood and built a big altar as fast as they could. They danced around it. They started to pray to, to Baal to send down some fire right away. Though they prayed the whole morning, the wood was still there when the priest looked around at the end of their prayer. Elijah called out to the prophets, Look, it's noon. Don't you think your old Baal should answer you soon? Pray louder and louder, for maybe he's talking. Or could he be sleeping? Perhaps he's out walking. The priest prayed and prayed and shouted. They danced and they hopped. By evening, they all were so tired, they dropped. Elijah stood up and said, Now it's my turn, but wood is too easy for my God to burn. For his altar, he piled 12 big stones on the ground and dug a deep trench in a circle around. 
Oh, wait, said Elijah. We're not ready yet. It still is too easy. The wood must be wet. Fill four jars with water and wet down the wood. They made the whole altar as wet as they could. Elijah just smiled, and he said to the men, Fill more jars with water and do it again. Three times they brought water. Three times they did pour. They poured it and poured it, then poured it some more. It splashed off the altar and sloshed on the ground. It filled up the trench like a river around. And now, said Elijah, O oh Lord, I do pray, please burn up this altar with fire right away. Then, suddenly, out of the sky roared a flame that disappeared quickly as fast as it came. It burned up the wood and the stones in a gust. It dried up the water and it licked up the dust. The people were quiet. No one made a sound. They fell on their faces and knelt on the ground. From now on, they promised, will worship and praise the Lord God of heaven the rest of our days. As the people went back to their homes late that day, Elijah stayed high on the hilltop to pray. While he knelt on the ground with his head on his knees, a little white cloud rose up out of the seas. So, after three years, God at last sent the rain to the fields full of wheat and the fields full of grain, the fruit on the trees and the plants on the ground. Everything grew in the land all around. And that is the story, the water that caught on fire.